we have this table, so you have it in front of you. Looks like that, same exact table. And we're looking at $4,000, two-year loan with an APR of 850. So we find, oh, same, okay. We find 8.5% and you slide over and you find two years and you come down until you get the crossing of the two and that's 45, 46. But that's 45, 46 per thousand. So we have to take that 45, 46, and we need to multiply it by four because we have four thousands. So 45, 46 times four is 181.84 monthly. Okay. And now to find the total amount of monthly payments, we're going to take that 181.84, and it's a two-year loan, so it's 24 months. Now we're going to multiply it because it's um, the total amount that we paid. Okay, so it's 4,364.16. And then to determine what our finance charge would be, so we're paying 436416. We originally borrowed 4000, so 36416. We're paying an interest and in that or that's our finance charge. Another one, let's see um, with a 5 year at 7.5% for 6,000 would be. So we come back to that table, and I said 7.5%, so that's here. Five years, so it's 2004. But I want to do it for $6,000. So 2004 times 6. is going to be 120 24 monthly. And then now our total amount that we pay, how many months are in five years? 60. 60. Thanks. So multiply that by 60, and that gives me $7,214.40 is how much I'm going to be paying. So I borrowed 6000 I'm paying 7214 So my interest is $1,214.40. Okay, so that's how you'll use that chart. No, not too bad, I hope. A monthly payment form. M is equal to the principal times the rate divided by 12 times 1 plus the rate divided by 12 raised to the power of 12 times the number of years over 1 plus the rate divided by 12 times 12 times the number of years minus 1. Where P is again, this is the total amount borrowed. R is the rate and T is the number of years. Okay, so we're going to start plugging in information. Our rate is 5.12%, so that makes us 0 0.0512. Our time is four years, okay, and he's taking out 28,716. So I'm going to plug those numbers in. So 28,716 times 0 0.0512 over 12. 1 plus 0 0.0512 over 12 raised to the power of 12 times 4. 1 plus 0 0.0512 divided by 12 raised to the power of 12 times 4 minus 1. So 
So I get 28,716 times 0 0.004267 times 1.004267 to the 48th over 1.004267 to the 48th minus 1. Now you can't cancel these because this is not multiplication down here. So don't try canceling top and bottom. Just be careful of that. What I get is 150, 31 divided by 0.2267 and some other stuff which gives me $662.97. So if you borrow $28,716 at 5.12% interest for four years, your payment for that car would be $662.97. Alright, so we have our monthly payment is going to be equal to the amount we're borrowing times the rate over 12 times 1 plus the rate over 12 raised to the power of 12t over 1 plus the rate over 12 to the power of 12t minus 1. So we're borrowing 22895 0 0.0299 is our rate divided by 12. 1 plus 0 0.0299 divided by 12. Um, 12 times 6. 1 plus 0 0.0299 divided by 12. 12 times 6 and then minus 1. So I'm going to pull up the scientific calculator so you can see the keystrokes that I make. So the first thing I want to do is do the 12 times 6. If you didn't already know it, it's 72. So I'm going to do... Okay. 0 0.0299 divided by... Whoops, I missed a 0, didn't I? 0 0.02... No. Point zero two nine nine divided by twelve. So I'm going to do zero two zero zero two four nine. Okay, so everywhere there was a rate divided by twelve, I'm just putting that in. The next thing I'm going to do is, because it's already in the calculator, and that way I'm not dealing with the rounding, I'm going to add 1 to it. And then I'm going to raise it to a power of 72. I'm going to get 1.1962. So all I've done is this with the exponent. So it's 1.1962. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and subtract 1 from it and I get 0.1962. So um, I have for the top now 22895 times 0 0.00249 times 1.1962 okay, one. that actually ends because you have all the space it could have had so this is the actual ending that's done Okay, and then um, divided by 0.1962. So divide that by 0.1962.
and my monthly payment is $347.57. So if you had excellent credit right now, today, um, and you went to Wells Fargo and financed a brand new Fiat for 22895 and you got that 2.99% interest rate over the next six years, your car payment would be 34757 All right, so um, we can do a monthly payment calculator. Those are available on the Internet. Um, they provide provide the information. Provide is with an I. Okay, unless you're paying simple interest, you don't pay the same amount of interest every month. Most of the time it's compound interest, unless they specifically say it's simple interest, it's compound interest, which means that your interest charges every from month to month change. And so you have your principal payment and your interest payment going into one payment, and as time progresses, your principal payments get larger and your interest payments get smaller because your overall balance is decreasing. Um, so you pay the same amount every month, but more of it becomes interest and less, or more of it becomes principal and less of it becomes interest as time progresses. So it's kind of like uh, if this was your whole payment, it moves that way over time where this is interest and this is principal. So when you start, you have a little bit of principal and a lot of interest, and then when you end, you have all principal and like very little interest. Does that make sense? I'll explain it more later. A loan calculator or a monthly payment calculator on the internet can show you all of this. So um, we'll we'll look at one. Let me. Where am I going? Okay, we've got good credit. We're putting down fifty thousand, so our loan amount is two hundred fifty thousand. This is the part you would fill out over here. Like if it's a new purchase, you put new purchase. If it's a refinance, you put refinance. Um, we'll say our interest rate is 5% for 30 years. And we'll just say we're going to start it next month because we, you know, we're buying the house. So you put in the property tax and the PMI. This is stuff that you'll find um, out from this is the county and this is the loan originator can tell you that. And then you click calculate. This is the amortization graph. Your principal is the dark blue. The interest is the light or the medium blue and tax is, this is property tax is not gonna change usually because it's the tax on the value of the home and the land. So it should be about the same every year. When you're making your payments, if you're in what's called escrow, you pay property tax in at the same time as you pay your payments, so you don't have to pay a big property tax payment at the end of the year. But when you first start, your payment, if you look here, your monthly payment is going to be $1,654, and that's going to stay the same every month. When you begin, part of it is principal and a whole lot of it's interest. But as you move through the life of the loan, your loan balance of what you owe gets less. So your interest gets less. So that means your payment is staying the same, but your interest is less, so you're paying off more principal. And so the principal amount gets higher as the interest part gets less. If you look here, on a $300,000 home at 5% interest for 30 years, you're paying $229,910 in interest. So you're almost paying twice the cost of the house. Right here's the total of the 360 payments. 595. It's a $300,000 house. You're paying $112,000 in tax. 
if you paid biweekly, your payment actually ends up being about the same per month. It's only a little bit different, but you pay considerably less interest. And that's what these calculators can tell you. Just it's all this information about a loan. And it, this is a mortgage one. They have auto loan calculators, personal loan calculators. You know, you can do all kinds of different things. So questions about that at all? We're going to take and we're going to find the monthly payments. We're going to multiply that by 60 months because it's five years. That gives us the total paid. And then from that, we're going to subtract the amount borrowed, which will give us the interest. Okay. So. Put ten thousand dollars here. Point zero six divided by twelve. One plus point zero six divided by twelve. Twelve times five for five years. One point zero. One plus point zero six divided by twelve. Twelve times five minus one. Okay. That's going to give me 10,000 times 0 .005, 1.005 to the 60th, 1.005 to the 60th minus 1, which is going to give me 67.44 divided by 0 .34885 and some other stuff. There's going to be 193.33 monthly. Okay, so if I borrow $10,000 at 6% for five years, I'm paying 193.33 monthly. Okay. I'm doing that for 60 months, so I'm going to pay $11,590. Okay, and then if I take that and I subtract my initial 10,000 that I borrowed, this is my interest. We have um, M is the monthly payment that you want. Okay, um, and I, I, it's, sorry, there's not supposed to be a difference between these M's. I forgot to capitalize that one. They're the same. It's not like capital M and little m are different. They're the same. P is the total amount borrowed. And then R is the rate, and T ends up being your years. So... What we do is we're going to set this up as we're going to do natural log of 300 divided by 25,000 because he wants to borrow 25,000 minus the natural log of 300 divided by 25,000 minus the rate, which is 0 0.59 divided by 12. All over. 12 times the natural log of 1 plus the rate divided by 12. So here's what you have to do. We have to do all this division first. So all these fractions, we're going to divide those first. So I get the natural log of 0 0.012 minus the natural log of I didn't do the steps in between. Okay, but when you do this, 300 over 2,500,000 5, minus 0 0.059 over 12, it equals 0 0.00708. So that's where this number comes from. 
over 12 times the natural log of 1.012. Okay, any questions about these numbers? Okay, so then what I have to do as I go 0 0.012 natural log. And I get negative 4.42. So negative 4.42 minus, and then I say 0 0.00708 natural log. So I get negative 4.95. So minus negative 4.95. And then I do point, oops, 1.012 natural log. So I'm 12 times 0.01193. Okay. Um, minus negative is positive. See, he's a happy, smiling man. So I have. Four point nine five minus four point four two. Whoops. Or negative four point four two plus four point nine five. Either way you get fifty three cents. And then twelve times so zero one one nine three times twelve. Point one four three one six. Okay. And then I do 0.53 divided by 0.14316. That is not right. I made a mistake somewhere. I hit this wrong, I think. This should have been 058856. So I hit a button wrong somewhere. Sorry. Okay, nine. Nine years. Makes more sense. Okay. Um, I think this is supposed to have two zeros. Maybe that was what I did. Anyway, um, you want to see another one like this? Yeah? Okay. So we're going to borrow 30000 at 6% interest. We can afford 900 a month. We want to know how long it's going to take us to pay it off. So we've got 900 a month divided by 30000 minus natural log of... Um, hold on a second. And then we'll do 12 times the natural log of 1 plus 0 0.06 divided by 12. So first I'm going to do 0 0.06 divided by 12. And that's 0 0.005. So here's what's going to happen. I'm going to do this. Now I'm going to do 900 divided by 30,000. So the natural log of 0 0.03, 0 0.03. Okay. Natural log of 0 0.03 is negative 3.51 minus. And I have 0 0.03 minus 0 0.005, which gives me 0 0.025. So I'm going to take the natural log of that. So that gives me minus negative 3.51. 
3.69. And then the natural log of 1.005 is 0 0.004988. Okay, so 3.51 negative oops, plus 3.69 is 0.18 and then 12 times 0 0.004988 is 0 0.059856 and then I do 0 0.18 divided by 0 0.059856 three years that's because we have a high payment if we had a lower payment if we said like 300 a month it would be much longer okay any questions on that all right so um, for your homework I would like you to finish the section two stuff that we didn't get to do yesterday. So um, 19, and then we're also going to do the section three stuff. So and 19 through. 38 odd. Okay, and then for your um, your mint square question, 